Welcome to day two of my project. I just got back from Home This Depot. is what my cart is looking like at Home Depot today. I went for wood and then found all these deals. Y'all, look at these hanging baskets, y'all, for two dollars. Yeah, I want to the day, so you know part I two. Welcome to my channel, Mina in the Garden. So the original plan was always to have my rain barrel on cinder blocks, but when I went to Home Depot the first time around, they did not have any, so I ended up with those uh, paver kind of blocks. But while I was there today, I saw they had the cinder blocks and they were on sale. So I decided to get them and restore the original plan of my rain barrel so to keep them on cinder blocks. I was at Home Depot a few months ago and I was looking for some exterior paint. Um, and I didn't want to pay a lot of money. So... This young lady was helping me and she was showing me all these different paints and they were like ridiculous amounts of money for exterior paint and I was like listen I'm not trying to spend all that money on paint okay like I'm just experimenting and trying out stuff in the garden so she's like you know what let me check the area where people had already like dropped paint that they didn't want and things like that and you wouldn't believe she found this beautiful color and you will not believe how much I paid for it two dollars y'all two dollars okay and I was like thank you Jesus like God has a funny way of showing you favor even in things that you love to do so I've had it in the house um, because it's both interior and exterior and I really didn't know what I wanted to do with it. And now that my shed is all clean, I'm thinking about painting the doors at least this color. So we're gonna do a little test with my brush from Dollar Tree. I didn't even know Dollar Tree sold brushes. So got my little brush and we're gonna go do. So like I had mentioned in the first half of this video, we've had this shed for several years now. And I wanted to turn something that was kind of falling apart into something functional for me in the garden. Uh, my back garden, I really had stuff really just all over the place and it just was no longer working for me. I had garden supplies in the house, garden supplies all over. So my goal was to turn this shed into something functional. First, I'm moving all the rocks, all the stepping stones I've been using in front of the shed. And then I found this worm, which is a great sign that I have great soil in the garden. So I'm going to add that into the compost bin and allow it to keep helping break that down. Uh, you'll also see me bring some cardboard boxes. So save those Amazon cardboard boxes that you get in the mail because it is a great way and it serves as a weed barrier in the garden. So that's what I'm going to do once this entire area is clear. I'm going to put the cardboard boxes down as well as water them and then put the stepping stones back before I mulch the garden. Um, actually mulch right in front of the shed because I just want to create this beautiful looking space. It's not perfect, but it's something that's going to work for me. I have great plans for later on, but instead of just waiting and waiting, I I have finally decided to just use what I have within my means and that's why I really decided to uh, fix up this shed and make it work for me and the garden. area I'm trying to tidy up my garden y'all in time for my fall garden and I just love the aesthetics the aesthetics of a beautiful garden somehow I lost my shoes 
so now we're gonna test out that color on the shed to see what it looks like I am keeping my fingers crossed now that I realize that I really like the color and it's a perfect way to hide some of the impurities <laughs> on the door of the shed y'all i really tried when i was power washing it to get those off but they were just not cooperating with me i mean i could have probably if i used some chemicals maybe it would have worked to get it off but i was really trying to be protective of my plants and really not trying to use any type of chemicals in the garden somebody actually mentioned to me that i could actually use uh like green products that would not harm the garden at all but i was not willing to give that a chance once i got those doors painted at one point i had to take them off because they were just kind of in the way and it was hard to get to the difficult sections and i'm trying to get the shelves in that was the wood that I went to Home Depot to pick up and these shelving brackets I picked up um, actually ordered on Amazon so they were delivered the morning of which was super exciting which made the product the project <laughs> that much more exciting for me to do um, it was not hard to hang them up at all uh, but my original plan was to actually see if the wire shelving that I had in the house could fit on it but once I was done putting up the shelves and testing that out I realized that that wasn't gonna work so it was really a great idea that I went to Home Depot and picked up that piece of wood so it's gonna be the wood shelf for me and uh, it will really serve a great purpose because now I would have a shelf to store some of my garden supplies. Okay y'all, so in the process I encountered a problem because I realized that the shelving is leaning and I'm starting to realize that probably the shed plastic, this is a Rubbermaid shed, but I was so grateful that my husband came back from work just in time. He came up with a really good idea and we decided to um, put some screws from the outside which will anchor the wood on the inside it was so amazing to have him help me out in the garden I know the garden is not really his thing he, <laughs> he got bit by a few mosquitoes but nonetheless I was so appreciative that he came out to help me in something that he knows that I love to do so much. It also gave me the perfect opportunity to be a helpmeet, to actually just relax and follow his instructions because I kind of like, like things my way. And he's like, okay, you're going to let me handle this or <laughs> what? So <laughs> I just sat back and was the little handy helper while he took the leading role and in the end it turned out so beautifully his idea was so great so i am so appreciative and i really really love that the shed was able to stay the shelf was able to stay intact and since i had him out here as well i had also ordered on amazon some tool hanging um things and that's me again trying to figure out where I want to put it and then I was like oh my goodness we can actually put it on the door of the shed so I went ahead and grabbed the doors of the shed and he was able to help me hook those uh, onto the door so I have somewhere to store my tools as well that way they're not getting any type of weather damage So there we have it, a few mosquito bites later, but the shed is intact and y'all pray for me that this stays in place. Now I have a space where I can put some of my garden supplies, actually a lot of them, especially my fall seed starting kits. I've started to wash them and put them away and I really needed a space to store them. So this is super duper exciting for me. This project is great. 
every year I try to add something new to the garden, a new tool that will really help me with my garden. And this year it was this uh, garden cart. I actually picked it up on clearance at Walmart because they're having their end, end of year clearance. So it was great and it's really been helping me transport a lot of the soil that I kind of just had sitting on the side of the house. So now even having the shed in place creates a spot for me to store my soil, store my supplies, my fertilizer, my pots, my tools, just different things that now I can finally make this back garden look a little bit more organized. It's not perfect, but it's gonna be perfect for me and the aesthetics of the mulched and stepping stone area is giving me so much joy. I absolutely love this project. I love what we were able to accomplish this weekend. I'm grateful for my husband coming out and taking some time out of his busy day to be able to help me in the garden. It was so beautiful. And every time I look outside at my shed right now, I am so impressed. And I cannot wait for you all to see what this finally looks like. My desire one day is to have a she shed where I can be in and I can do so many projects. But for now, this will work and I'm happy with it. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Y'all just look at my new shed. I hope you all enjoyed watching with me as I was able to repurpose this fallen shed and make it something make it an asset in the garden for me so appreciative of all the love and support that you all show me here on the tube once again if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so for more garden tips i cannot wait to share my journey with you all as i'm preparing to start my fall garden in a couple of days and i hope you all hang out with me through this garden journey and we continue to learn and grow from one another happy gardening y'all flower i got a walmart clearing and i get some blooms from it and it grows bigger for the season end. see you in another video bye bye and god bless